So hello everyone. My name is Hun Namgung, and I flew. I flew from Korea three months ago, and I just got started to get to do research at the Carnegie Mellon University. And my net, uh, my interest is networking and security. And I'm working with Professor Vyas Saker at the CMU. So the title is Scalable Attack Detection Using Universal Monitoring. So I want to talk about today's DDoS defense first. So I think DDoS is pretty hot issue nowadays, especially two weeks ago there was large DDoS detection. So uh, there's two uh, parts when you do DDoS defense. First is detection and second is defense. So think that the monitoring machine is not in the edge network, but in the middle of network. So uh, DDoS detection logic does, what DDoS detection logic does is uh, get the network flow, like a lot of peak, uh, packet flow from the monitoring uh, machine, such as like switch. And it gets network flow as an input, and output should be target type volume, which means uh, which target is getting under attack and what type of DDoS, detect, uh, DDoS attack it is and the volume. So uh, DDoS defense logic can use that information and can do the mitigation. So uh, overall, uh, it's going to be very high level. And uh, I want to focus on DDoS detection. So the biggest challenge when you do DDoS de detection, especially in the middle of network, is that you're getting tons of packet. So you cannot uh, store like state for every packet. So there are, that's the biggest challenge. So there are two solutions for that. The first, first one is packet sampling, which means uh, you just skip many packets. So uh, for example, there is a famous application NetFlow. So you miss uh, many packet, and you inspect uh, only small out of like, for example, 100 packet. So it certainly will reduce the overhead in terms of memory and compute power. So good thing is it can reduce overhead, but bad thing is it misses many packet, so it is not uh, accurate. So the alternative is uh, streaming algorithm and also sketching. So uh, what they wanted to do is they want to do DDoS detection within only small amount of memory, limited size of memory. So, for example, so they want to inspect every packet, but within, uh, like for example, uh, order of logarithm of n size of memory, where the n is total uh, packet size. So this is more accurate than sampling, but the bad thing is it only works for specific application, for specific needs. So you cannot use sketching for generalized DDoS detection. So uh, I saw the opportunity from the universal monitoring. So this is uh, 2016 SICOM paper. So they uh, invent a new sketching algorithm called, which is called universal sketching. So if you do the sketch once at the data plane, and you gather that information and send to the control plane, then that sketching can be used to many sketching algorithms. So uh, what they argue is sketching one set the data plane, and it can be applied to the possibly many sketching algorithms at the control plane. So uh, it is both accurate because it's sketching and uh, general at the same time. But uh, what's missing at the paper is that uh, they suggest this tool, but they did not make any concrete application, and they did, uh, they did not show the uh, certain linkage between the universal sketching and firm like solid application. So here is my idea. So uh, I want to do scalable DDoS detection, uh, uh, I want to make scalable DDoS detection framework. So uh, you get the data, you get the universal sketching at the switch level, data plane, and universal monitoring server is already built by them. 
And for example, uh, if I want to do TCP SYN attack detection or DNS application applic attack detection and so forth, uh, if you sketch once at the data plane, then I, uh, the library at the detection framework will support like many more uh, DDoS detection algorithm. And uh, how Netronome is going to be used for this project? So they already make P4 code for universal monitoring, but they did not actually build in the actual hardware. So I want to use the Netronome, and I want to build P4 codes in the Netronome and measure. So uh, by, by doing that, I can show that our idea is deploy deployable in the actual hardware, and also uh, for the evaluation purpose, it's more interesting to show the actual hardware data rather than virtual environment data. Yes, that's about it. Yeah, do you have any questions? Yeah, so uh, like I said, it's very uh, high level idea. So what they do is, so there are many sketching, sketching algorithms out there. And what they prove mathematically and in, in theory is that uh, if, you, if you do the sketch for, for example, like heavy hitter, so heavy hitter is, uh, finding a one specific flow which uh, take large portion within the uh, no network flow. So if you measure the heavy hitter sketch once, then it can be applied to many other like sketching. So if you gather that one specific sketching data, then it can be used for many other sketching algorithms. It is so uh, it should be smaller than like log of n. So it should be a large, like a lot lesser than sampling and other any other. So it's small state. It needs only small state. Yeah. Thank you.